Hello everyone, my name is Chris, aka Bye Bye Racing, ByeByeRacing.com, and I'm the owner and moderator of the Kyosho Mini Z Buy Sell Trade Group on Facebook. Welcome back to another episode of Mini Z for Beginners. In this episode, we're going to talk about chassis configurations. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and click that notification bell to stay up to date on the latest Mini Z and 128 scale videos by me. So, why do you need to know about chassis configurations? Chassis configurations are important to you because you need to know what configuration is needed for the array of bodies out there available from Kyosho and other manufacturers. We're going to talk about three factors that need to be considered. Wide or narrow, wheel offset, and wheelbase with the sprinkle of motor mount information. First, we'll talk about wide or narrow. As mentioned in the first episode, our rear wheel drive was wide. The wide designation comes from the width of the front track measured from driver side to passenger side. The chassis can be configured in only two track widths, wide and narrow. In this example, I have one chassis that has a narrow setup with zero offset wheels. The other chassis is a wide setup with the same zero offset wheels. You can see by the measurement that the narrow is 48 millimeters across and the wide is 53 millimeters across. There is a five millimeter difference. Using our McLaren body as an example, we know the McLaren uses a wide MM configuration and zero offset wheels front and back. With the chassis mounted, the wheels sit flush. In contrast, our Mazda Miata calls for a narrow configuration and the same zero offset wheels front and back. With the chassis mounted, the wheels sit flush. Now let's swap the chassis. When we use the McLaren, the narrow configuration sits inset to the body. When we use the Miata, the wide configuration is too wide. Using the incorrect track width may adversely affect the steering angle and suspension throw. Second topic is wheel offset. Wheel offset is a difference measured between the inside of the wheel's rim and inside of the wheel's hub. This unit of measurement is in millimeters. In this example, we have a zero offset wheel. You can see the difference between the inside of the wheel's rim and inside of the wheel's hub is zero millimeters. In this picture, we have wheels side by side from zero offset to plus 2.5 offset. The plus sign signifies that we are adding width to the overall track. Each Kyosho Mini Z body comes with the correct offset wheels to its designated chassis configuration for the body. Aftermarket wheels may be found in 0.5 millimeter increments down to minus one millimeter and up to plus three millimeter. Our third and final topic is wheelbase with the sprinkle of motor mounts, as I mentioned. Wheelbase is a measurement in millimeters from the fixed center of the front hub to the adjustable center of the rear hub. As we choose which body to run, we have to consider its wheelbase in order to determine which parts we need to match the wheelbase. Achieving the correct wheelbase requires us to adjust the rear axle forward or back. The MR03 rear wheel drive chassis has three mounting positions on the chassis to adjust between forward and back. A note here. The front hub of the chassis is fixed and the distance from the front hub to the front of the body is achieved by the front body mount specific to the body. Typically, no two body mounts are alike. As you can see, we have three chassis ranging from 90 millimeter to 102 millimeter. We're going to compare the 90 millimeter to the 98 millimeter. With the bodies off, you see that each chassis has a different motor mount. And as we flip them over, you can see that each has a suspension plate that is either a different overall length or in a different position. The 90 millimeter configuration here uses the RM motor mount and RM T plate mounted at the middle position on the chassis in order to achieve the 90 millimeter wheelbase. The 98 millimeter configuration here uses the MM motor mount and MM T plate mounted at the shortest position on the chassis in order to achieve the 98 millimeter wheelbase. However, the MM motor mount has a motor sitting in between the rear axle and chassis allowing us to achieve longer wheelbases. Now onto the topic of motor mounts. The RM designation puts the motor rear mounted to the axle, thus allowing us to achieve shorter wheelbases in 4 mm increments from 86 mm to 94 mm. The MM designation 
puts a motor in a mid-mount position between the axle and chassis, thus allowing us to achieve longer wheelbases, again in 4mm increments from 98mm all the way up to 106mm. Each body has a specific wheelbase and motor mount designation and a specific front body mount. Understanding chassis configurations helps us determine if the chassis we have is compatible with the body we want to run or if we need to purchase additional parts to run that body. Hopefully this video on chassis configurations has been helpful to you. Remember to hit that like and subscribe button and I'm going to continue to bring you more videos on the Kyosho Mini Z and the 128 scale. Thanks for watching. I guess the next question is, which one's faster? Is this even in the video?